Hello guys, welcome or welcome back. My name is Ari and today I'm going to talk about the books that I predict I'm going to give five stars this year. Am I going to be right about any of these? Who knows? We'll find out next year. First book I'm going to talk about is one that I predicted I was going to get five stars last year and never got around to reading and that was The Last Human by Zach Jordan. Um, do I think I'm going to give it five stars? Yes, I still do. Am I ever going to read it? Who, kn who knows? <laughs> Hopefully I get to it this year. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Next up I've got Sleeping Giants by Sylvain Nouvelle. Now I've read a few books by Sylvain Nouvelle before and I really like his writing. Like. I wasn't sure what to think about it. The story sounded interesting, but I didn't know the author. I ended up picking a bunch of other books first. But I think I, I think this has a really good chance of being a five star for me. This is basically about a girl who f like is walking home and falls into like a giant hand and somehow discovers aliens from there. And it gives me an excuse to read more books by an author. I Next on my list is Artemis by Andy Ware. Um, I picked up this book last year, never got around to reading it, because I had read something Hail Mary, Project Hail Mary by him last year. Ended up surprisingly loving it and now I want to read this one, especially because this is a main female character instead of a male protagonist. Uh, making it even more promising. It's also short and I've been really into short books lately. So this has everything stacked up in its favor to be something that I would absolutely love. So I'm really looking forward to reading this and hoping I give it the five stars I predict. Next up, Dead Silence by S.A. Barnes. Now this one, this is just shot in the dark. Like, I've never read anything by S.A. Barnes. I don't know if I like the writing or not. I just really, really like the premise of this book. And it's popular. So I think I'm going to get five stars. That, that, that's all I'm going on. It's horror sci-fi. Uh, a salvage crew is like investigating a luxury spacecraft that everybody is missing off of um, and horror stuff happens but I don't know what that horror stuff is but apparently it's not what you expect so yeah I really really want to read this and I really 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 want to give it five stars. Next up The Twisted Ones by T. Kingfisher. I have no idea what this is about but I have read like two or three books by T. Kingfisher already, or at the very end of this last year, and I've enjoyed every single one of them. So I know now that I like T. Kingfisher's writing. I just, I don't know. This, it was between this one and What Moves the Dead, but based on the premise, which I forgot what the premise of this book is, this one sounded more like a premise that I really like than What Moves the Dead, but I think I'm going to give both of them a minimum four stars, but this one I'm predicting is going to be my five star book. So, horror. Short horror is my thing now. Speaking of horror, The Haunting of Maddie Claire by Simone St. James. This is one of her older books. But I loved everything that I've read by Simone St. James so far and I really really like haunting books and I really really like how Simone St. James does haunting books. I've given her five stars before uh, but this one's a little bit different than everything else she's written and it's older. So is it going to stand up to the way I love her writing or is this going to be just something completely different that I'm not going to like? We're going to find out. And I'm totally giving this five stars. Anyway, those are my five star predictions for the year. That That's it. I don't have that, that many. I don't give out a whole ton of five stars usually and I usually surprise myself with what I give five stars. So it's very very hard for me to predict what I'm gonna give five stars. Anyway, leave me down in the comments some of your five star predictions for the year and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!